Libra, welcome to my channel, Rainbow Wizard. I will be doing your reading. It is uh, the 2nd of uh, June. Uh, tomorrow the 3rd is a very interesting energy, the planet parade, so uh, brace yourselves. Libra, um, this is for your sun, moon, rising, and Venus signs. Um, yeah, uh, it's a general love reading. Take what resonates, leave the rest. Check out other signs in your chart. I'm aiming to post all 12 signs today. Look at that. If uh, yeah, you're new to the channel, welcome. And uh, if it resonates with you, yeah, please uh, like, subscribe and uh, get involved. So I'm using the Rainbow Heart Tarot deck, uh, my original deck. I always love using this one. <laughs> it reminds me of good old times. So uh, we have had a beautiful day here in London today. Uh, I hope uh, you've had a beautiful day wherever you are, Sunday or you know, time zone could be Monday for you now. <laughs> so I'm ready to do your reading. A Libra, please like, subscribe again. And share the video as well. Some of you could be going through this realization, awakening. The judgment is that, oh wow, this is how it is. This is, this is, this is happening. Um, Libra, so uh, someone wants to make an offer. Someone is, uh, okay, well, you they you might have let them go or someone might have given you so many reasons to let them go. Um, this person might have had many, many chances, many, 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 many <laughs> millions of chances, um, but you've let them go, but they really want to appear in your life to give you a good reason to stay with them. If especially, uh, this will be um, for you if uh, you are dealing with a Capricorn or someone with Capricorn in their chart. So what's going on around this person? Oh my goodness. Oh, <laughs> Well, this person is a definitely, definitely going through hardship. This person is definitely, 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 definitely going through hardship. So, it is possible that this person is leaving someone that have made them go through hardship. Queen of Wands. Someone could have repeated a karmic cycle with a third party and this third party and then brought out the worst in each other, losing money, toxic, partying too much. This is what you call a karmic connection, unhealthy to the max. If these two people live under one roof, it is not a healthy place. They might be young and they can handle uh, heat, but oh, this is not a good. Uh, this is not a good situation in love. Definitely not. No, 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 no. So uh, you are going to get that. Um, you're, you're gonna. It's going to be revealed to you, Libra. What's what's gone down? Town for this person. Loss of money. Um, yeah, it's uh, it's not good. <laughs> It's not good. Someone could have taken them to the cleaners, uh, literally. So what's happened? What's happening uh, in the person that Libra is dealing with? What's happening? What's happened? What's happening? Why are they in such a state? There is arguments, aggression, conflict, perhaps to do with a child. Who's going to keep the child? Someone is manipulative. Um, someone could go to jail, someone is drinking too much, karmic wheel is here, uh, it's a false, it's a false uh, fortress, it's not paid for, someone can't pay, pay for the rent, um, they could be dealing with a Leo, a Leo could be here, Leo, Capricorn, so a person that's coming towards you could have Capricorn in their chart, or well, the person that's coming to you as very grand that could also have Taurus in their chart. So mm, there is something going on with this person. <laughs> it's bad. I hope it's not that person that's coming to you because it doesn't look like that. They wouldn't show up in your energy this way. Mm. There is there is a lot going on uh, over, over at this person's end. Uh, something to do by keeping uh, someone tied to them because of a child, because of a house. 
uh, but this person is becoming very unhealthy. Uh, they have limiting beliefs. Um, they are their hands are tied when it comes to finances. They're stuck. They seem to they lose money as soon as they hold, get the get the money as well. Yeah, it's something. Uh, <laughs> Something's going on. So there's a Leo. So if this person is a Leo, uh, I don't think that's the person that you, you're going to be with. Definitely not. Um, if this person is dealing with a Leo, this person is letting the Leo go. And then this person is going to show up for you, Libra. Uh, because you have a completely different energy. So uh, keep, that, uh, keep that energy. <laughs> keep that boundaries up. Keep the... Um, yeah, keep keep things like they are. You have a whole a whole different. The world looks different over at your end. Um, there's families coming together, celebrating. Um, yeah, it's a it's a lot of good stuff happening around you. Um, I do see if you're dealing with a third someone in a third party, shit's going down. <laughs> uh, someone could be. Uh, Air lifted away, something is going down, and this person is sending you a message. Could be dealing with it, Sagittarius. So, you could be stressed about someone's energy as well, that's possible. So, if you and this person have made plans to be together, and uh, that was going the right way, and then suddenly there is some kind of out of the blue showstopper, something mind blowing, someone that is sort of showing up on your radar, and even if that could that could also be a third party, uh, yeah, someone here that is a trickster wearing a mask uh, that is hurt. So for some of you, Libra, this could be someone that refused to let you go, and they they will do anything they can in their power to keep you stuck to them. Some of you might move on, have moved on with someone else, and then this person, they don't care. They, they just suddenly show up to cause some kind of anxiety, stress. There is someone here that have the ability to send shock waves. Um, this person have um, serious issues. Yeah, so shock waves cause arguments, cause a conflict. Uh, out of the blue and it's a blue sky and then suddenly someone boom they will say something that is demanding to see if they can yank the chains with you they cannot though so I would not there is uh, there is a person here that have repeated something over and over and over if you are so this will be someone that you are you are actually trying to stay away from. So don't don't mistake them in the reading as well. There is a person here, so this could either be a third party or your person. So someone that it's like restraining order, stay away from. It's not like, oh, I don't like them, but I'm watching the reading anyway and I have so much feelings for them, but I don't like them, I hate them. It's not that, it's not that. This is someone that you do not want to contact with. It's someone like that. You don't want to, it's like, it's not about you, um, this is not really, uh, oh, you know, I, I, I feel so kind of um, happy that they're chasing me, but um, I hate them. And then they just chase you and it's kind of funny or fun or <laughs> sort of sweet. It's not that. It's just, there is a person that you just don't really, I mean, not really, you don't want on your plate. You don't want to speak to this person because they are bad news. So it can be a third party or a situation that is, it's someone that is kind of going crazy and you might have to step in to handle it. There's something about you mediating. It can be a work situation. It can be a family situation. Libra is known to keep things balanced between head and your heart, uh, something like that. Uh, you have, uh, you know, you could have Aquarius in your chart. So you're stepping in to uh, balance something out. You could have Earth or Aquarius in your chart I'm picking up. So anyway, so anyone that's trying to bring some shock waves that is a bit sort of, oh, this is someone that's trying to control you from a distance even, or they're trying to control a situation from a distance. They have that. They have... They have something that they do, uh, that they're able to do that because they are just nuts. 
so often then you can deal with a narcissistic type of personality or someone that's obsessive, someone that's just, it doesn't have to even be that, it's just someone that you don't want to, you just don't want to communicate with them, but someone finds a reason to intrude in your life. So yeah, that's, that energy could come up, but it's, it's short-lived, you will deal with it with, you will deal with the situation gracefully. Again, for some of you, this could be a work situation where something comes up or a family situation. It's a family endeavor and it comes up and you are sort of, oh, well, everything's going so great. So everything's so nice around my family. And then there's this one family member that is, um, gotta, gotta throw some daggers in there and that can stir some kind of trauma that can definitely, there is someone that, so to me, it's either a family member or this is someone you are in relationship with or someone that have been trying to move on from someone for a long time. You actually walked away from them. Then this person here, if you're dealing with someone with earth in their child, they're suddenly here and say, look, I have left them. But even if they say they have left them, look, and you are asking, so what about so-and-so? And you're like, yeah, well, trying to keep that wrapped away. So already when they say that, you know that you can trust them. You just can't trust the person behind them because that's someone that's a wild beast. So you don't really want to be in touch with them if they have this wild beast hunting them you rather just stay away from both because that's how much you don't want this energy in your environment at all but yeah I think that you will deal with it yeah very well <laughs> you will deal with it very well no one's going to really disturb your peace because you are balanced the truth is revealed it can even be someone getting a restraining order and you are like okay thank you universe for dealing with this for me on my behalf so there could be some kind of, someone wants you to make, feel some kind of type of fear for not including them. But again, it, it's going to feel a little bit like an old trauma coming up and you might just, just feel it for a minute and then you'll be like, oh, whew, okay, it's fine. They're gone. <laughs> I don't have to, I don't have to face it. It's, 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 it's safe to, uh, it's safe to move forward. So then I see the Empress and the, um, King of Pentacles. So I'm definitely seeing uh, messages going back and forth. Two people feeling very um, so sort of flirtatious and excited. Uh, not not trying to be acting too excited towards each other because it's still two people getting to know one another. So you, this might this person might have Aquarius in their chart. Maybe Taurus. Maybe Pisces. So what is the most likely outcome? For Libra, what is the most likely outcome for Libra? Yeah, so there is a ending to a relationship. So either you or them, you have ended a relationship, you know this has ended, and but someone could still try to pick up a fight. But truth is served, best served cold. So the death is here. It's dead, done, over with, no second chances, uh, bury the hatch. But, so, in anyway, so someone on the distance, it's just, it's, they are trying to then, oh, look, the, look, look at the tower I can throw, but it's, it's not, um, yeah, it's not going to really do anything. I feel that this tower Mm, this this is going to be a tower of um, yeah. There's a po positive change, a really positive change. This experience that you get that's kind of shaking things up for you. Um, you're you're going to prove uh, how balanced you are and that your wishes are coming true. Yeah. So maybe this is someone you have walked away from because there's a million reasons why you can't be with them because they have like this entourage or this person, but there is a solution to it. Um, the person is out of sight, out of mind, and they are going to stay that way. This person or someone is not going to bother or get involved anymore and cause problems. Uh, the star brings hope, uh, good feelings. 
secrets are coming out uh, between a couple. So I feel that you're going to tell each other the truth that, oh, I'm interested or I like you or it's even, even further than that. You could just move into a commitment. But the truth is definitely coming out. It's two people saying as well, but you know, you are my person and uh, I know we live far away. I know this could seem a little unconventional, but uh, I want us to, to get to know one another. So it could start off a little slow to, to pick up the pace, but um, yeah, it's exciting. It's two people definitely know, know that, okay, we are soulmates. We are on a distance, but... That truth is coming. So a delayed message about someone's feelings, yeah, it's going to come. So this person have left, uh, so I feel here, uh, there could be an earth sign that have left an air sign. Yeah. Long-term relationship, could be a Virgo that left the Pisces, to be more specific. It's a relationship that has come to an end, could be Leo, Gemini, Libra, someone have ended a relationship, a relationship is ended, it's not moving, it's not moving back together, so yeah, that's, uh, <laughs> that's, that's what's happening, um, for many of you, I feel that you could either have Pisces in your chart, um, or Earth in your chart, you both feel very grounded about the decision to, um, yeah, you feel grounded about the decision to move towards each other. It's two people that, yeah, we haven't expressed our feelings. There is a bit of mystery, but we sort of feel that we are meant to be walking towards each other. Uh, so time with friends, um, mirroring each other as well. Yeah, there is a person that tried to come back, lack confidence, self-sabotage, ego and fear. Yeah, there is this person. This person tried to come in between and cause an ending. Um, but they, they, that's not going to happen. This person, yeah. There's someone here that love being a monster. They love the fear that they can give. They almost yeah like people fearing them. They like being chaotic. They like losing their shit. Um, because the magician likes the audience so they have a lot of charm they they cause a lot of drama this could be almost like someone you see in a, like the leader of a gang almost that is like you know they want to demonstrate their power in front of a certain entourage because they have to prove themselves but they don't care about the isolation and maybe being uh, taken away to jail afterwards but they would just that's just what they do so someone like that is a loose cannon uh, of course, you don't want. <laughs> that's that's not good good company. So someone is healing a relationship with parents as well. Someone is he needing to heal an inner child. Yeah, as I speak about inner child, so children. I see that this person Libra, they are going to make a move from this situation. I think that this person had been saying, well, if we have children together, we have this house, how bad can it be? But someone is going to show actually how bad they are, like they're be going to be violent or do something really crazy that is leaving them no choice but to take their child and, and move away and release this egg. So they might do something illegal uh, as well. So this person might break off an engagement as well with separation because this person is doing something like really crazy so something that is unacceptable and something that is you know they have no choice but to leave the premises that's what huh? that's the message that I'm picking up so that's pretty serious yeah they have to leave the premises so this person then uh, have a choice to come towards you because you are there with open arms without their entourage, without this person, so they know what to do. Continue to make the most out of every open door. Oh, it's a beautiful card, unicorn. You are creating a you that you will be proud of. Don't fear a blank canvas. 
your life, uh, use it to turn your life into a masterpiece. It was a necessary ending so that you can pursue the life you are destined to lead. Leave the past behind. Yeah, exactly. You are definitely leaving a past behind that where it did allow someone to um, just turn up and just put a dig a dagger in there. That's so. Uh, that's what you are releasing. Uh, and I believe most of all, it's someone that you know is releasing someone that is not supporting them. This person is much better off without that person. So truth will be revealed uh, very, very soon. Libra, this is uh, these were your messages. Uh, you can check out other signs in your chart. Oh, sorry, I have another card for you. How could I forget? Pluto, rebirth. Okay, so Pluto asks you, in the face of life and death, why are you here? This is in a rhetorical question. Strip down to the essential and come back to what really matters to find the answer. Pluto's shadow side can bring up obsession, depression, mortality and grief. Pluto plays handball, so get guide for this realm if needed. So maybe that's why the moon is coming up. But again, there's no real sorrow or real heartache. It's just an illusion. So Pluto calls for three actions. First, to dig deep. Second, to be willing to transform. And third, to use power wisely. That was the additional card. Thank you, Libra. I will see you very soon. Much love to you all.